Okay, let's look at an application for trees. Uh, this one is a parse tree. And you can use a parse tree to, to uh, parse or break apart languages like English or math that are structured. Uh, we're going to actually use it for math. Now this parse tree, you'll notice for the expression, this expression, uh, you have multiply. We'll multiply the left and right side. And the left and right side are subtrees, which have an operator. So this is the plus 7 plus 3. And this is the 5 minus 2. And basically to evaluate, you evaluate the subtree and result, it results in a result. And this tree comes up with a result. And then you multiply the two results. So uh, in the rest of this section, we're going to examine parse trees in more detail. We're going to look at how to build a parse tree from a fully parenthesized mathematical expression and how to evaluate an expression stored in a parse tree. And then later we'll look at how to re uh, recover the original mathematical expression in the tree. So here's a simplified parse tree um, for just the 7 plus 3. And so the first thing we're going to have to do is take the fully print size expression and break it into tokens. And the tokens will be broken into left parentheses or right parentheses, operators, and numbers. Now what we're going to do, um, the left mark parentheses will mark a new tree. Uh, the right parentheses will mark the finish of an operand. So when you have a, a, a operand, an operator, an operand, then you're going to have a right parentheses would say evaluate that, do some kind of evaluation. The leaves of the trees are actually all going to be numbers, which is actual operands. The parent of a two leaf operands will be an operator. And a subtree will be an operand for the parent operator to, as well. So if we go back to the first example, uh, so any parent of any children is going to be an operator, and any operands will be leaves. But you'll see this operator has this subtree as an operand, and this subtree is an operand. So the result of evaluating a subtree, since it becomes an, a, a number value, becomes an operand for this multiplier. So to make this work, we're going we're gonna to have a set of rules. There are four rules. So if the current token is a left parentheses, we're going to add a no new node to the left of the current node. Um, and then we're going to descend into that left child. We're going to watch all this happen in a minute. If the current node is in the list, uh, if the current token is in the list of operands, operators, uh, plus, minus, divide, or multiply. We're going to set the root value of the current node to the operator, and then as represented by the current token. And then we're going to add a new node to the right child of the current node. The current node is the operator we just added. And then we're going to descend and make the current node the right child. If the current token is a number, uh, we're going to set the root value of the current node to the number. And usually when we get to here, we're, we're actually sitting on a child. And then we're going to return to the parent. So we're going to set the number and then return to the parent. So that'll work for either left or right ch children. If the current token is a left parentheses, we're going to go to the parent of the current child. So we're basically going back up the tree. Uh, uh, the very last parentheses in expression should take us to the very top of the tree. So here's an expression that we've broken up. So this is the one we originally introduced. Uh, so we have uh, a left parentheses 3 plus, a left parentheses 4 multiply 5, right parentheses, right parentheses. So we're going to put this in. This is in a list. So here's a picture of the list. And we're going to show what happens as we process this from left to right following the rules. So the first, we create an empty tree. So we're going to get an empty node. And then we look at the first token as a left parentheses, and here's the rule. Hit the current token as left parentheses, add a new node as the left child, and then make it the current node. So we're going to descend down in this and make this the current node. This gray indicates what our current node is. Our next token is a 3. When we see a 3, we set the 3 into the node we're at, and then we return to the parent, which is so our current 
node will move up to the parent. Then we see a operator. So with an operator, uh, we set the operator into our current node, and then we create a right child and uh, descend down to it so the current node becomes the right child. Then we see another left print. So we, from where we are, we create a left uh, child and descend down into it. Now we see a number, so we set the number in the current node and then go up to the parent and make that the current node. Then we see an operator, so we fill in the operator uh, and then create a child and descend down into it. I left out a step here. And then when we see the 5, we're going to set the 5 and go up into the parent to make that current. And then as we see each parentheses, we're going to move up 1 and then up again. And so eventually we will uh, look like this, where we have the complete tree and we're all done. So now that we have the, the whole tree, we're going to talk about how we go about evaluating it.